Hello, my friend. A word of advice. Watch for goblins if you're heading north. If you've been good, way shrines of Dibella may bless your personality. Watch out for them if you're heading north. We ran into goblin war parties northwest of here while starting to build a new settlement. My family and I are still trying to figure out what to do. We spent everything we had to buy the land and supplies, but we can hardly go back. Say, do you think you could help us? We need to get the goblins off our land so we can start building our new settlement. I had a good feeling about you, friend. You should talk to Marisa about the goblins. She's our guide and knows what needs to be done. She's a wilderness guide we hired to lead our expedition to Cropswood. Saved our lives when the goblins attacked. It's northwest of here along the Yellow Road. You'll see some of our supplies near the road where we left them when the goblins attacked. We plan to call it Cropsford. My daughter Kalia, her husband Alois and I came all the way from High Rock to start a new life here. We have a charter from the county. Everything done official and by the book. I'm sure now that they knew all along that the hand was in goblin territory. But no matter, who cares if a few settlers get themselves killed? Have you made any progress? Is it safe for us to go to Cropsford yet? Take care, friend. Don't get yourself killed on our account. How good. You've got Hello. some... Well met. Come, warm yourself by our fire. Follow the yellow road northwest from here. You'll see the supplies they had to abandon when the goblins attacked. You've agreed to help them clear the goblins from Cropsford? That's great news. I've done some scouting around while we've been camped here. And it looks like Cropsford is right in the middle of a goblin war. The caves around here are infested with goblins. Normally, goblins stay close to their lairs and wouldn't be a huge problem. But two tribes are at war, and their war parties are crossing right through Cropsford. What you'll need to do is stop the war somehow. Goblins have their own reasons for doing things. Don't make sense to us, usually, but I've learned a lot about their ways over the years. Each tribe guards a head in its lair. Whose head, I don't know. A sacred tribal totem, or something like that. Anyway. If you want to rile up a goblin tribe, steal their tribal head, which is often what a rival tribe does, just to prove they're tougher. I'd lay odds that the war between the two tribes is because of a stolen tribal head, nor the reason for a war to go on this long. So to stop the war, all you need to do is sneak into Timberscar Cave, find the stolen tribal head, and return it to the Crackwood Cave Goblin. Unless you want to do things the hard way. Well, you could always just fight your way into Crackwood Cave and kill their shaman. Every goblin tribe is led by a shaman. But she mostly stays hidden in the heart of the lair. Well protected. But kill the shaman and the tribe will dissolve into confusion. Most likely end the war. The two nearest are Timberscar Cave and Cracked Wood Cave. Here, I've marked them on your map. Unfortunately, Cropsford is right in between them. Like I told you, there are only two ways to stop a goblin war. Either kill the attacking tribe's shaman, or recover the tribal head from the rival tribe, which is likely the cause of the war. Neither one sounds like a picnic to me. Good luck, and don't underestimate... If it's about Cropsford, please talk to my father. He'll know what to do. It was my father's dream for us all to start a new life there. He spent everything he had to buy the land. Now it all seems to be ruined. My father hired her as a guide at an inn south of here. Good thing too. She saved our lives, and led us safely back here after the goblin attack. Barthel Garnard is my father. I'm worried about him. 
I think it'll break his heart if we can't build Cropsford. The Imperial City itself is a walled city, with separate inner walls protecting the Imperial Palace. Everything was going well. We had set up camp at Cropsford, and it looked like a beautiful spot. Then the goblins attacked. Thank Ifra that Marissa was there. Without her, the goblins would have surely killed us all. Farewell. I've heard others say the same.
I hope. Amazing. You actually swiped the stolen head right out of Timberscar Cave? Ha! <laughs> Those goblins won't know what to think now. You don't really need to do anything else. The Cracked Wood Tribe will stop attacking Timberscar Cave once they figure out the head is gone. Of course, now that you have the head, you could create all sorts of mischief. Well, for instance, you could give it to any other goblin tribe. They'd boast about it, just as if they won it in a war. And pretty soon, the Crackwood tribe would launch a war against them. I'm not sure if the Cropsford settlers would be all too pleased about you stirring up a new goblin war, though. Take care. Evening. You've got that. Let me know as soon as Cropsford is cleared of goblins, so we can get back to building our new settlement. You took care of the goblin menace? That's great news, my friend. Now we can get back to building our new lives at Cropsford. Please, be sure to come and visit us in a month or so. You have earned a hero's welcome. Come back in a few weeks. You may be surprised at what we can accomplish. Aloys, Kalia, he's cleared the goblet. <laughs>